The board of Germany's largest bank has reportedly agreed to merger talks with the second largest. The Welt am Sonntag newspaper says the board of Deutsche Bank will discuss a fusion with its traditional rival Commerzbank. The German government has been urging the two banks to merge after years of losses. Deutsche Bank has also forced, uh, faced scrutiny in the US over a money laundering scandal. Well, joining me to unpack this is Stephen Beardsley from our business department. Steve, hi, thanks for joining me. What more do we know about this merger? <laughs> Uh, Rebecca, I think the main thing is that there's finally a mandate for these merger talks. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this for months going on now, as Deutsche has suffered such serious losses. Um, and uh, as recently as Friday, there were uh, sources from Commerzbank saying it's absolute nonsense that there's a mandate for talks. And now we know that there's been one for at least a week back on Deutsche's side, if these reports are correct. Uh, we know that they're still at the very early stages, they're small groups and that this has a long way to go before it is approved. Well, there's been a lot of talk about this merger for some time, but the banks themselves haven't seemed keen. Why now? Well, I think, first of all, I think it's interesting that this finally was confirmed that these reports are correct on a weekend. That might tell you something about what they want to see with the blow or what they expect from a blow on Monday. Um, but really the answer is that um, it's coming now because the economy is softening, the global economy is softening, German exports are going down, the German economy is softening, and there are concerns that if Germany doesn't have an effective bank uh, to support its, um, its uh, German companies during a weak spot in the economy, um, with both of these banks suffering, then they're going to struggle. Um, there is a strong preference in the German government to have a strong uh, German national lender. Deutsche Bank is obviously really the focus of this. It is the biggest bank here and uh, it carries the name of Germany uh, on it. And as you mentioned, there have been a lot of scandals surrounding it. Uh, it's really gone through years of unprofitability. And uh, despite recent efforts to really shore it up that have really gone a long way, it's just not happening fast enough. And so this really isn't unexpected. Well, the German government pretty keen, but there's still a lot of resistance, right? There is a lot of resistance. I mean, any merger is going to have to get through, first of all, German regulators, and we can assume that it would get through those if there is preference in the government for it. Um, but it's going to have to also get through European regulators. And we know that on the European side, the ECB has really preferred uh, a merger between Deutsche Bank and a European bank. Uh, they want to see greater consolidation across the EU, and they believe it has to happen across national lines. For the German government, there isn't such a strong preference for that. Of course, they want a German champion. Uh, and this gets into a bigger question of the German government and national government governments in the EU really wanting to put their thumbs on the scale and saying we need our own banks to support our own businesses. Uh, and of course, then you look at the job losses that could come about through this. The business models of both banks are very similar. They'll overlap very nicely, which means there's going to be a lot of dead weight to get rid of. Politically, that's going to be very, very unpopular. So a lot of questions going forward, and it's not necessarily a guaranteed ride. I'll just mention finally, uh, a lot of people say that two bad banks combined does not make one good bank. All right, well, like all eyes watching that merger talk, those merger talks. Steve Beardsley from DW Business, thank you. Thank you.